record on this computer. Okay, wait, let me admit some few more people in. Um, okay. Welcome to the Limitless Health Club. I think there's a couple of new people on today. Very exciting. Um, hope you're all doing well. I actually, I'm sitting in my car because I just went to this super cool thing that I will share, um, but I just wanted to find the lid to my drink. Of course, I have a green drink. Can't find the lid. And if you haven't had these, Evolution, they're just easy to find. Um, most of their stuff is organic. They grow a lot themselves. So it's like an easy go-to if you go to a random store, Vons, or um, add somebody else. Okay. So we like their watermelon juice too. Um, so they're just easy to find. And of course I have a Mama Chia. I already had one. And I had one of the protein bars that we sell at our clinic, the high in protein or in no junk protein bars. So I just had a snack because right before that, I actually had an o a couple of ozone treatments. Um, if you have not ever experienced ozone, it's just a um, ozone fights infection. It's like oxygen fights oxygen. infection. So I had an ozone treatment where they put like the stethoscope in your ears and they flood your body with ozone and it kills infection and it kills dental stuff and it treats your sinuses and treats your brain. And sorry, there's an airplane going by now. Um, one second, because I don't want to shout. I don't think you would like that. So I just had an ozone treatment. And the reason that I went, what I was invited for was to get my teeth cleaned with ozone, which I have never done before, but I have had ozone, I've had ozone treatments before. And a lot of people do ask me for holistic and intelligent dentists. And I went to the regular, coincidence, I went to the regular dentist office yesterday for a teeth cleaning. And I never saw the dentist and she didn't my teeth, but she just does like the basic. This lady just now got in with an ozone blowing around on my gums and was like flooding ozone into the edge of your gum line and using a product similar to our Medi Dental Pack and was brushing that on my teeth with bentonite clay. And they, we took before and after pictures and they are much more white. So that's natural teeth whitening for you. So just sharing a little extra. Wow. Reason. The reason why I'm in my car, cause I'm a half hour away from home and because I'm probably going to start giggling and talking loud because I just had ozone treatment for 20 minutes, <laughs> the dental one and then extra one. So ozone is another tool to fight infection and heal your body. So I am, um, I just wanted to share that, but I'm open to taking questions. There's only about um, nine of us on the call. So if, if you have a question, you can shout it out as we get more and more people then I might say to raise your hand or something but we'll we'll start off casual Diane you have a question no anybody that Diane does. which Diane well <laughs> either well, I was looking at you because you were showing your face but the other Diane popped up so whoever wants to go first oh. go, for it. go ahead Diane no I'm okay go ahead you're good I don't know but I'm interested in that dentist local she so it's not a dentist she is a dental hygienist and so by the way this is off the record because uh, she already like bad mouthed fauci a few times she's like fauci said two years ago that all the dental hygienists should quit and stay home because they don't want you healing parts of your body i guess i haven't known that much but so she is a traveling dental hygienist and they also sell the ozone equipment and so I already when I left they said they'll contact me I said you have to come to our place and clean our our teeth so wow. she suggests and it she doesn't even want to make money she's fifty dollars to clean your teeth I just paid like 112 yesterday at the regular dentist and it didn't get half as clean wow so I, yeah. have, I bought an ozone machine um that you know, I go to one of the FLCCC doctors for dermatology, you know, face stuff or whatever. 
And um, so they have one in their office because as soon as you get in the, their office, they tell you take off your mask, you know, and all that stuff. Right, and, and so I bought the ozone. I bought the ozone, but I just kind of afraid of it. I don't know why to use in my house, but um, well, I have an extra one. I should give it to you if you want it. Is it with a tank? Do you have an ozone tank or is it a little thing? It's about this big. You want to see it? Okay. Or do you, I can show it to you another time if we're all busy. Okay. But that's what someone you know. else wants to see it. But the... I go to somebody who's a client of mine who does ozone therapy as like, she's like almost 80 years old and she just does it for fun for her. Um, and it runs through like this giant, I don't know, it's like bigger than the screen oxygen tank and it runs through her sink and all this stuff. This lady has this cute little machine that like she takes with her everywhere she goes. So kind of like the laser. Oh, so it's right over here. So, yeah. So we, I mean, uh, at this point in time in the world, I think we all know our health is important. And I think my feeling is I don't want to get, I don't want to be in a random place or a random country and have some kind of weird health issue or injury or get hit in the head by a surfboard and be suckered into doing their medical procedures. Okay. That's bigger. Even. Now this thing, yeah. And they have one in today. every one of their rooms, every one of their, in their, it's a huge office and they have one and have one in every one of their rooms. Nice. And so then they do the, the ozone, you know, with the IV and all, they do all that stuff, but. Right. Which I so. So the simplest thing, and I won't have the exact dates, but like in the 1500s, ozone was the gold standard of treatment for healthcare or for medical or for sick care. And when the pharmaceutical industry was invented, they kiboshed ozone. And so there were no treatments. And Tesla, the guy who originally created the Tesla device, like I think his name was Nikola, Nikola Tesla. He's the one that figured this out. And so these things have been around for a long time. And I guess it's kind of like the food four food groups and the food pyramid. And we're back to the four food groups, like everything that you've learned, go outside, get fresh air, eat food closest to nature and to the ground, you know, play in the dirt, get in the ocean. And we're going, we go full circle always back to like what really is healthy. And so ozone is something they figured out a long time ago. I've been drinking ozone water for years. It tastes fantastic. And if oxygen, which is O2, getting your body more oxygenated can prevent cancer. So ozone, you're just turning up the oxygen a little bit more, that kills cancer, that kills infection, that when your pH is alkaline, it's saying that you have a lot of oxygen in your body. It's like circulation, right? The opposite of being tight and having aches and pains. You have oxygen flowing through your body. Water is H2O. Why, you know, drinking water, drinking water, it like flushes things out of your body. It's the same thing. So I feel that, um, you know, we just go full circle in life on everything. And right now, you know, all of these little people are starting to be more and more interested in their health and to take it into their own hands because most of the medical system is corrupt and just doesn't work. And so many people have lost faith because they've steered them down the wrong path. So, you know, and most of the medical professionals, not all, but they, they're like, they cut things out or they prescribe pharmaceuticals. They don't know how to fix things. So we know how to fix things. The lasers I use, the ozone, the nutrients, like we fix the body. And when I travel, I take an emergency kit with me. I have my regular nutrients that I take. And then I have a little extra kit of extra, like in case whoever I'm with gets an infection, a toxicity, a cut, a burn. Um, I dislocated a shoulder one time when I was in Costa Rica and I had, it had happened before. So it wasn't a brand new thing. Um, but I brought with me nutrients and I brought my laser and within two days I was back into like full action with my body instead of, you know, getting suffering on a trip on the vacation. So I want to teach people to think more and more beyond just your day to day, but like, what, if I'm going traveling somewhere, what should I take with me so that I can be my best just in case, you know, or just be my best. So what this woman said was. So first of all, the dental hygienist, um, she goes around to people's homes from Ojai all the way to, I think, San Diego, um, and she will clean people's teeth. So I can organize that for her to come to the clinic. And then their little ozone machine that they sell, they, they said they take it with them. She has a partner. That's why I said they, they take it with them everywhere they go. And she said she, she puts it in the hotel room for like a few hours, like as soon as she gets there. So by the time she goes out and 
does whatever when she comes back, like the room feels and smells amazing. They put it in the bed for like an hour on the sheets. And like, if there was a bug or anything, it's like dead. And it, you know, if there was a bacteria or a virus, some random thing. So it's very versatile. And I want to say that their machine was not that much bigger than this piece of paper. It was probably like, it was smaller than an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper and just a little bit thick. And then it has like all these connection things. I, I had tubes up my nose as you would in the hospital. And, and after that, I had like a stethoscope in my ears and it floods your body. And ozone makes your body work harder to make antioxidants. So it's like it teaches your body how to make more antioxidants. And the definition of antioxidant equals anti-stress and pretty sure everyone on this call knows at least everyone in their life that has stress right now. So stress, whether it's environmental, physical, or emotional is the number one health issue today. So antioxidants are the number one thing that we need. And any way we can teach our body to absorb more is better. So anyway, we have like 50 more minutes and I, I can teach some more things and talk some more about ozone or dental health. I'm happy to answer any questions anyone has. I originally started the Limitless Health Club out with topics for each call. And then I realized what's the thing that people need the most? They like wanna ask questions and they wanna ask someone they trust and they wanna get the explanation. And so that's how I'm gonna run these calls. And I also, the dentist and I were, the hygienist and I were having a conversation. She's like, I just want to help as many people as possible. So I keep my price low and I can reach a lot of people. And that is why I built the Limitless Health Club because I'm sitting in my car and we're all across the country. I know we have at least like two or three states represented from the few people that I know that are here and it's inexpensive and I'm here to answer your questions. And, and then hopefully you'll go and shop some things on the website and use the code that you get for the health club or one of the other codes, and you'll have more health stuff in your life. So that's, that's like the only intention behind this class is to help more people. I can only see so many people a day and so many people a week without burning out. And I want to help you and your friends and whoever else, like get your questions answered, help your kids, help your parents, help your pets. You know, so you should be using that with a little bit around your cat. I wonder on your cat's um, skin, that ozone for Diane, who was talking before, because I think it would help, but caution, you don't want to, you know, slow and steady wins the race. Maybe just like blow it on her skin and see, in one little area and see if it helps. Her, her cat was having some kind of a, an almost rash something. So anyway, does- Oh, just a bump, little bumps. She's having some kind of- allergic bumps all over her yeah. body so if, it, if she's having bumps on her skin what you see on the outside is because it's not going through the normal filtration process of the detox system or what i call the assembly line like if it does if you don't poop it out it's going to come out your skin so we just haven't she's a little cat we just haven't figured it out yet i've only seen her a couple of times and you know maybe someone else is more of a cat expert, but we were talking about environmental things, um, okay. essential oils and such. And I will go back to the fact oh, that chemtrails are dropping from the sky a million miles an hour every second oh, day in California. Oh, so I'm gonna get some of the food out when I'm listening. Is there any more? Whoever, okay. if you guys have your, um, there's a couple of people that are not on mute and we're hearing a lot of back noise. so. Oh, actually, I can mute you. <laughs> and I am doing it with love. I just want everyone to be able to hear whoever has a question. So Diane B, do you have a question? Yeah, I wonder um, if you could tell me a little bit more about the detox. Which detox? The Simple Solutions Detox that we just sent in an email? Yes, that one, yeah. Um, does Diane, do you want to say anything about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just did it, and this was my second time, and it was fabulous this time. The last time, I it got really weak from it, but I'm not sure I was eating enough. But um, I did it. It was fabulous. I got great results. I started swimming again every day, you know, just like it clears your head. I know I didn't weigh myself because I didn't want to get stuck on the number or focus on the number, but I know I lost a good little portion of weight, mm -hmm. and um, I can't wait to do it again. 
it's easy. You just got to eat. Per I've been eating perfect. In fact, it was two weeks, but today's my 23rd day of eating perfect. You know, nothing out of a can or, you know, just very solid or right. clean. So, no, I, I definitely do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I will. Okay. I will. Very happy with it explain it from the actual okay. science. That was a great introduction and testimonial. Um, I have been running this program for probably about 12 to 14 years. And actually, gosh, I've been running this program since like 18 or 19 years ago. And I, I think, I know Denise is on the call when you were at our clinic back in the day is how long <laughs> we had this program for. Um, and I put it together with two other dietitians, and it's healthy, clean eating for 14 days and some supplements. The supplements address every component of the detox system, and which I call the assembly line, um, and airplane. One second. So most of the, and first of all, I've done a lot of different, I've been in practice for 23 years in California, and I've had so many things have come and gone. This is the one program that has stayed put through the test of time and people always come back and love it and redo it. So that Diane's testimonial and, and that statement and that fact, but what it is, is most detox programs address the liver and sometimes the intestines, but your detox system is your liver, gallbladder, two kidneys, small intestine, large intestine, and your lymphatic system. So there are seven, and, and the lymphatic system is everywhere. It's like every part of you. So it, it is in a, I call it the assembly line because your body takes, toxins come from the air, from food we eat, from clothing, um, and from stuff we smell. And once they come into the body, they go to the liver and in order with a little bit of variation, it's the gallbladder, the pancreas is part of it. It goes, the liver and the gallbladder detoxify and emulsify. And then it goes to the small intestine. It goes through the whole GI tract, which is the length of two football fields, if we really mapped it out. And then it's got to go through the kidneys, through the lymphatic system, which is your entire body. There's lymph everywhere, not just in the neck. And then it goes back through the intestines for you to poop out the waste. And all along the way, you're absorbing whatever whatever you're not filtering. So, right, the little kitty is got, the cat has something going on. So some somewhere along that process, the cat is not filtering something 100%. So it's coming out the skin. So every detox program I have seen to date over years and years and years addresses the liver and sometimes the intestines, but they all skip the kidneys, the gallbladder and the lymph. And if you are just shoving everything out of your liver and stuffing it into the kidneys or stuffing it into the lymphatic system, you're just moving, you're creating, instead of stress and anxiety, now you feel bloated and puffy and constipated and your equilibrium's off. So you're just moving the problem. But this detox program has basically a supplement or nutrient for the entire assembly line and two pages of eat everything on these lists and don't eat anything not on the list. There's two days, maybe three that's vegan or vegetarian, I should call it, but it's just healthy. It's like not, it's like eating. If you eat out, you're not getting the sauce and you're yeah. using just good, clean oil and good salt. And then one of the products is a high protein shake kind of, it's mostly rice and pea protein, but it is a complete protein. They've added in whatever was missing. So if you drink the shake either for breakfast or your mid-morning snack, and then you drink the shake again around 3 p.m., you still eat either breakfast or a snack, lunch and dinner. So whereas, you know, a juice fast or, a fa or intermittent fasting or fasting, those just remove stuff like people want to eat. So this lets you drink and eat throughout the day and you're definitely not hungry. And it's kind of a revamp for some people, you know, after vacation, when people are like, oh, I need to start a diet or I need a detox. Eating this way is the cleanest eating I have ever, that's the cleanest eating that there is, that it, that it um, exists really. And so as Diane, who just finished it, she's really going into her third week of eating super clean. And we added a, we kept, you kept the shake. So she's doing an extra bit of the shake to kind of keep it going on. Cause she feels fantastic. 
I have I stopped the shake. You stopped it. We stopped it. You stopped it. I, okay. I, I went. I went a few days over, but stop it. I, I do the other the metrogenics and the cardio miracle. Ultra inflammatory and the cardio miracle or whatever. So, whatever. One, so yeah. we switched her to another high protein shake that is anti-inflammatory and cleans out the gut. Also, it keeps it clean. So we went from fully detoxing to like maintaining basically or sustaining and then putting in more nutrients um, through different methods. So, but you're keeping your diet super clean. Perfect. Yeah, perfect is the right word. I mean, yes. We're, you know, I hope that you stay perfect as long as forever and as long as it feels amazing to you. But yeah. when perfect usually goes south is barbecues or holidays or family events and things like that. And the reason why I usually run the detox program in the spring and the fall is because summer is usually like a all over the place party, especially the first summer after after COVID really semi sort of ended, I guess, where everyone's just going to be traveling and having fun. So you want to detox to like get your body super clean and you want to detox after to like regroup again before you go into winter. Think of this detox like an oil change for your car. Every time you do it, your body just gets cleaner and better and runs more and more efficiently. So, so it's like a, it's a great tune up. The first time Diane did it, we also had her starting doing mud therapy. So we were also doing topical mud detoxing and it was just too much. So this is not the, the simple solutions detox is not, you know, I have at least that and mud therapy, which are detoxes. And then there's other pieces of detoxing that I also have people do. Like we can do a liver gallbladder flush, which is just for a day. Um, I have people do enemas. There's a variety of ways to detox. If I saw you in a one-on-one session, whether it's remote or in person, and I found out that your lymph was the weakest link in your detox system, just by giving you lymph support, nutritionally, whatever we do topically, or, you know, hot and cold showers or thing, or sticking your feet in the ocean, all of those are going to make you feel like you're detoxing because we are just boosting the function of the final part of the detox system. Your body's like, please figure that out. You know, I've, trying to detox, but it's like stuck. There's a traffic jam. So that's the simple solutions detox. I like to run it in a group. I like to have people have a partner, but over the course of the last couple of years, no one attended classes and no one wanted to do anything when anyone else wanted to. Everyone's in their own space. So we have it as a kit. We have a booklet with directions and recipes. And then we have a video that I put together to like walk you through it. Did you do any of the recipes, Diane D? No. Okay. So you still have <laughs> you know, the I just, you know, I just no bread, no nothing out of a can, nothing out of a box, you know, just super clean and, you know, just. Right. And every, stir fries, you know, stuff like that. Everyone's different. Like some people will like go to town and create yeah. all these amazing recipes and other people are going to do it the simple way, like the simplest way possible. I, I did you simple. Know. Yeah. yeah. And, but you still didn't buy anything out of a can or whatever. You still made stuff. You just did it. Yeah, nothing, right. everything, orga- everything organic, but for me, and I think it's a great thing, you know, when you make your drink, um, I use the, the, this time the, um, the magic bullet. And every time I made the stuff like, like today I added, you know, any, any day, like a bunch of arugula or greens, I throw some radishes in there all every day, a green apple, and, you know, just whatever vegetables are in there, not a ton like I used to do, but just enough just to whatever. And then when you drink that along with your meal, you're full and you're fine. Just so I, that's what I don't know if that's fine with you, but I think making that drink a little bit more stuff in it really fills you up and satisfies you. Right. When I was pregnant, it made it easier when I was pregnant with my son, which we're talking like 17 and a half years ago or almost like 18 years ago. So my knowledge of everything I know today was like one half of what I know because it was almost 20 years ago. And, but I did drink a smoothie. I put all this stuff in like Diane just described into whatever blender or Nutribullet if it existed back then I had, and it would take me like four hours to drink it, but I would get it in. And so I did, wasn't hungry and it was just something I did. I have an associate. Um, she's a colon colonic therapist and her and her husband 
makes and they're they're closer to like 75 years old and they make smoothies and like they just don't eat food they just have like a light dinner they do like some kind of drink all day and then a light dinner so whatever works for you like we know by now we don't have to always chew but in in general some people like to chew and some people like to drink and it's you have to figure out what is important to you but we do, we're built to chew and we're built to drink also. So that's why the detox program itself lets you eat and lets you drink because that way you can feel satiated. And, you know, if you're, if you're on like a fast, there are probably days where you're just like, I just want to like chew and like crunch on something or bite into something. So, you know, this just allows you to be you and do whatever makes sense for you. And I just want to touch on those types of um, detox programs for a moment. In general, for detoxing, we think of remove, we call it the four R's, remove, repair, replace, and re-inoculate. So we want to remove offending hard to digest foods and chemicals and toxins from coming into the body. So that's where on this program, the Simple Solutions Detox, there's a list of only eat these because it leaves out all the extra. There's no dairy and gluten and no chemicals. So, and in our diets on a regular day, probably most people on this call do some kind of removing, right? I don't eat dairy. I don't eat this. I don't eat that. But removing like juice fasting or fasting does not do repair. We need to repair, repairing the gut lining. Most people have leaky gut in one form or another. A lot of people have leaky energy field as I might talk about if you want in a few minutes um, from all of our devices. Like there, So we need to repair. We don't just wanna cut things out. And um, I am big into fixing things. Like I believe healing is limitless, hence the name of this health club. And I know it is limitless. And when the biofield is intact, the area around you, it's it's an energy thing, but it is also a, it's like, um, oh my gosh, a, I'll think of the word in a minute. There's a, it, there's an energy around you. And when that energy is intact, healing is limitless. But when it's not, your people start to feel poorly and they're like, oh, I'm not going to eat dairy anymore. That makes me feel bad. I can't go running anymore because my knee hurts. So I'm going to do this. And they just start cutting things out of their life. When I feel that when you repair the biofield and you repair the gut and you straight and you repair slash strengthen and flush the assembly line, you could do whatever you want to do. And then you don't have to keep cutting things out of your life, especially body parts or organs or glands. You can regenerate, you know, your body is made up of cells. Most cells live three months to seven years, they say every seven years, we're living in a totally new body. So if you're having issues today and you start to work on yourself seven years from now, you should be in a completely different body with none of the same ailments you currently have, if you tend to it. So it's a plasma energy field, the area around you. It's like a plasma TV. You can't really see plasma, but it's a, a plasma energy field around you. And when that energy field is intact, healing is limitless. When it's not, there's little like pin size holes in your field. So I'm sitting here right now on a laptop with a phone and then my car is off, but there is a little like TV on the dashboard, but I have the EM. So if I didn't have all the EMF remediation, like the second I touch my phone or move probably from here, that's like about three feet from the, the laptop. If I move to here, zap, my biofield is off. And then if I am an unhealthy person, even if I think I'm healthy, but let's just say I have ailments or if my pH is acidic, it might take me an hour to recover my biofield. But because I do nutrients and I do a lot of minerals and I touch the earth and I get fresh air, and I, my pH is alkaline, I might recover pretty quickly. But if I just had a dental surgery or some kind of procedure or an emotional thing, and my body is a little under stress, I might not recover as fast. But we have the, the remediation tools for your devices. So this is one little circle. This is, I'll, I'll come to you in a sec, Maria. Um, this is a Q-disc. This is one. 
5G remediation. So I have this on my phone. I just got this new phone. This is a 13 mini. Before I had this, I had an eight. So the iPhone, so you can't, it doesn't look like there's a bump. It's pretty flat, but on my iPhone eight, I had two stickers and on my laptop, again, it's noisy. It's a lot of airplanes are here. Um, sounds like a helicopter. On my laptop, I wish I could show you, I don't think I could show you, but I have six stickers surrounding the touchpad on it, six of the EMF stickers, and then I have one of the 5G discs right on the back of the top part of the laptop. That's how many it took to completely remediate my laptop from destroying my health. So every time you go near a device, near a computer, near a phone, zap, 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 it's like, the opposite of how many licks does it take to get to the center of the lollipop? It's like, how many zaps does it take till you feel terrible? So we, I like when people restore their biofield and then start to work on their health because that is how you improve your health. Um, let's go to Mar Maria for your question. Go ahead. Julie, so um, when I met with you, you asked me if my car was electric and it's not, but I am in... I am kind of thinking of buying a new car. So would an electric uh, car be, would, would I be able to remediate the car or? We can remediate anything at this point. We have all the, we have the skills. I feel like I'm talking about the bionic woman or man, but we do, we know how to remediate anything. It's just how much work. Like my phone needs one thing, my computer needs seven. So we can remediate an electric car um, we have to put the LMP or the Liquitech paint under the seat in the rails where the, your seat moves. Ideally, we should do something on the battery on the bottom. Um, and then I have two of these flat like hologram stickers on the back of the little screen that I have here. And I've remediated numerous, um, whatever they're called, Teslas with two or three of those stickers and a little bit of paint, a little bit of the EMF paint. So you can remediate anything really at this point. Um, that is the way to go because it doesn't matter what you buy or what you do, you have to just remediate it, end of story. But as a plug for electric cars, of course, the gas thing and all the chaos in the world and how they're gonna just keep raising those prices. But as a plug for a non-electric car, it actually costs more energy and it's more toxic to the environment to make the battery for the cars. They just don't tell you that. So there's really, which one's better? You know, neither, pick whatever you want. Just enjoy yourself and get what you want and just remediate it is the story. And you have a laser now, so we can continue. The more you use your laser, your biofield is just gonna get stronger. Your organs are gonna get stronger. Your body's just gonna feel better. and in you've had it for almost a week. So by the time a month from now, like if your biofield turns off, it's going to turn back on in like just a matter of a couple of minutes. It's, or as soon as you touch your laser, it's going to go back on. And if you're like everyone else, when you have a laser, you just use it. So um, that will continue to turn your biofield back on. You won't go for long without your biofield being on. We also have the little, um, I don't have it with me, but the QCI vial, it's a little, crystal that has in it volcanic ash. And when you put it near the crown of your head, the scientific terminology is it pulls Schumann waves from the earth up through your body all the way to your crown. But what it does is it turns your field on and it turns all your meridians on in 30 to 40 seconds. And that, that might be more cost-effective for some people if you're looking for a tool. We have the little pointer lasers for 20 bucks and the crystal thing is somewhere around 80. And with your Limitless Health Club membership or any code that I give you at the end of class today, you can get all of those for with a discount. Um, anything else, Maria, or is that the main yes. question? So once you remediate uh, your, your devices, what's the easiest way of really knowing if you've remediated them enough? Um, Good because question. Good. Yeah, because I have a lot of devices and I think I, I did my best to put um, it, what I thought was enough, but how do I know if it's enough? Well, that's a great question because the once the devices are remediated, an EMF detector will still pick up the EMFs. 
Like they don't have a they don't have a detector that can that will block, you know, that will pick up that it's remediated. Because um, as one of my mentors said, so what if they turn up the energy? We're just gonna twist it in, so to speak, into a usable, healthy energy for us. So the EMF readers pick up that energy, whether it's remediated or not. So the only way I really know is number one, seeing your body and if you're healing and improving and number two, using the O-ring, the testing. Um, or if you, if you, you know, you might be more of a sensitive person. Some people are sensitive when they touch their device. Like if I pick up, someone else wants me to use their phone, I'll say, no, thank you. Cause I feel like I get electrocuted um, just by touching it. It just doesn't feel good. And it, same with laptops and sometimes even near t certain televisions. Um, and I've had clients that don't feel good in their friend's car, their Tesla or whatever, because of the electricity. So that would be your second option um, is how you feel. If you're improving in your health, how you feel. And the third thing, thing is to learn the O-ring. And um, I can do it virtually to test some things for you. Um, and I will also, I am gonna set up a class to teach the O-ring soon. It's just, I'm just trying to get this class going and every class I organized for the past two years, like I think I had like two people ever show up out of like eight or 10 classes. So. I just wanted to make sure people are going to show up and then I will schedule something and teach you all how to do the O-ring or I can teach you in a private session. But the O-ring will detect anything in the air or on your body that's off. Um, and it's, it's really easy to do, but we also have to make sure your field is on so that when you're doing the testing, your testing is accurate. Okay. Now, can I add another question to that? Sure. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah. when, when uh, oh, no, just ask away, that's what we're here for. <laughs> so when I was in your office, um, your spaceship was on, but then you were testing me, uh, you were testing, I believe my watch or my iPad. I can't remember what it was. So how much, how much does a spaceship really remediate without having to remediate each individual device? Um, so a couple of things I have underneath the chair, the couch that you sit on when you come to my clinic, I have undone the remediation so that when you're in that chair, I can get you without getting the benefits of all of the, the Wi-Fi, the spaceship and all the environmental stuff that I've done. Because before they had the Wi-Fi, which came out a couple of years ago, I buried rocks like thousands of them all under the ground in specific areas and sequences around my property. So I've had my property remediated for 16 or 17 years now. Um, and then as the, as I've had that remediated, I've had to add to it because of the environment and because they went by that time, I, 15 years ago, did we even have one G? I don't think so. So then we've creeping up, creeping up. So I've had to keep adding to it. Um, and just a little story there. The day I remediated, the day I finished remediating, and so Vastu is like feng shui, but it is the term, I think we all know feng shui, but feng shui is like the look and the feel, but Vastu, feng shui branches out of Vastu, but Vastu is the mother, the umbrella, and it takes into consideration EMFs. And EMFs are electromagnetic frequencies. Your body is one, the earth is one, and all the devices and the, the cell phone towers are another one. And so when you have your body and then you put a cell phone tower, a cell phone tower, a cell phone tower, the towers kind of do this. So the energy, the air around you is like has anxiety. So when you're in it, of course, you're going to end up with anxiety or stress because you're in this. So we remediate our devices because you're going to have them on you and you don't want to have more chaos. And then we remediate our environment because you live in it at all the times. And when you go to sleep, and rest your head, we want to make sure that you are going to rest and repair. And the saying goes that 99% of how you feel comes from your environment. And I, I walked into someone's house when my son was little, he wanted to have a play date with this girl. And I went over there and I was like, it was disgusting. <laughs> it was, it was a nightmare. There were toys and paint and chaos. Like there wasn't even one drop of the house that wasn't covered in disaster. And I was like, ew, I never want my son coming here again. So if I just had that feeling about the look, what about the energy of like how, what it does to you? It's just, and we all know like how 
quarters get mold and stuff. So it's just not, so we all know to some extent that your environment affects how you feel. And so when we remediate the environment, everyone, all the pets, all the, all your food, everything in the environment gets the benefits, but at some point you're going to leave your house. And that's why we remediate the devices. That's one reason. The second reason we remediate the devices, because when I have it on me, it actually does the opposite once it's remediated. When it's not remediated, as soon as I get electrocuted touching it and I could feel the heat as I get closer and closer to my head and then you get headaches and you're destroying half or three quarters of your brain for whatever period of time it's there. When you remediate it, it actually heals you. It strengthens your energy field. It strengthens you. Your body is a battery. Everything you come in contact with charges you or drains you. So when you bring something near you that's remediated, you get charged. So that's why you want to remediate your personal devices. You got to put your, I have my laptop over there and it's on top of a couple of bags. I never put it on my actual lap, by the way, ever. And I don't let any of my staff ever do that or a kid. The has to be at least a thick pillow if you're going to put it near your lap, because when you're putting it on your lap, you're now radiating your ovaries and your testes, your uterus, whatever parts of you are right there, you're causing trauma too and stress. And I'm pretty sure no one wants that. So you, you still want to remediate that, but you know, so to, I don't know if I really answered your question, but you want to do the environment and your devices because they all are still affecting you. If you use the phone that was not remediated in a home or a room that is, it's going to drain you so much less, if at all. That's probably the short answer to your question, but I went roundabout. And the Soma Vedic, that's more like popular right now. You may see that around. If you haven't, you will. It looks like uh, the kind of thing that you rub the crystal and the genie comes out of. They're very pretty and they've put money into that company. So you'll see it around. Soma Vedic, when you put it in a room, does what the spaceship does just for that little room. It's usually like 500 square feet. They have two or three different variations. And so some of them go a little bit broader range, but the spaceship goes for a half a mile. So it covers the whole entire house and it puts you into a quantum field. So I kind of think of it as like a bubble of protection around you and your house and your environment. And I will tell you that my backyard is all edible and the guy who set it up has never seen anyone's yard grow like mine and i'm the only person he's did that for who has bus too and so every one thing that he plants i get like five and the trees are going and crazy and the day after i finished 15 or 17 years ago doing the boss too i had a beehive in my backyard like I, I went to sleep and I woke up and there was like a beehive like this big. And my kid was like four or five. And I was like, we cannot have that here. <laughs> like, no way. And I still have a lot of bees, but I don't, we got rid of the hive, but I had to then pay someone in a hazmat suit to get rid of it. So it's like that frequency that we can't hear, like a dog whistle, like, you know, whatever that is. Like when you do the Vastu, it calls in the bees. They like it and it pushes away ants. So it's actually the best exterminator you could ever have. When, after I remed, I did the finish the Vastu, I never saw an ant ever again until, and, and we had two huge ant outbreaks previously and I did all the powder things and the orange things and the whatever, but it was just because there's so much electrical something. It's like the electricity frequency and the ants just come out. And so, Never saw an ant, eight years went by, got a giant television screen, like uh, I want to say bigger than the size of my windshield. And the next day there were three ants, four ants, and I flipped out. So what I had to do was go add to the Vastu and I had to go bury some more rocks near where the TV is in that corner of the house outside. And then no ants ever again. Three years later, I had to get an extra circuit put in the circuit breaker and then the next day ants and so then I went outside and I remediated outside the circuit breaker no ants again and then fast forward a few more years they invented the quifi and now I just keep that 
I keep that plugged in at all times. However, at first I couldn't because I already had Voss do. And when I plugged in the Wi-Fi, it was like, it was like overkill for me. Like it hurt my head a little. I had bowels and menstrual things and crazy things happen like the first day. And then they added 4G, 5G and whatever they've added lately. And now I keep that thing plugged in permanently and feel good. So it really comes down to what, how close you are to towers. Do all your neighbors have mesh things and 5 million devices? You know, if I look in a little circle, the houses around me, there's probably like a hundred devices in like a very small area. And there's all these signals that bounce off all of them. You know, my, when I'm using my phone, if you're with me, the signal might bounce off your phone to come to me. So we just want to protect ourselves. And then I'm wearing this necklace and I really don't leave home without one. This is one of the ones that we make. Um, one of my clients is into jewelry and art. So we work together. We use the O-ring and a device that isn't remediated. And we test until there's enough of the liquid, the EMF paint in it where it blocks and it puts a little shield around you too. And so when you go out in the world, if you're not wearing this, you are going to get zapped. And the I've been going to this studio that has infrared saunas. And I always caution people because people think, oh, infrared, I'm just going to go in the sauna. And I'm always like, well, it may turn off your biofield. You never know. And I started to sweat and I'm like, I don't really want to ruin my necklace. It's on like a cloth thing. So I first would like put it right next to me on my mat. And then the last time I was there, I, I was there for, I was in the sauna for almost two hours because I went into this amazing meditative space. But the next day, not only was I dehydrated completely, but my biofield was off. And I, I was like, what is going on with my body? And then I was like, oh, I'm off. And so when I go to the sauna, I'm always going to take something with me. You know, you could take a piece of shungite rock or you could take some kind of crystals. There's other things that strengthen you. But um, most importantly, devices, wearables and your home need to be remediated because they are trying to kill people one way or another. And you want to be smarter than them because you know me and I've taught you this. So now you can't unknow this information and you need to use it to keep yourself protected. All those people that you know that are like, oh, he was the healthiest person. And then he had dropped dead of a heart attack at 50 or 60 or something young, or he ran marathons. What happened to him? Well, he probably never remediated his phone and everything is like piling on top. And we all know that expression the straw that breaks the camel's back. And it just takes the onset of one stress, emotional or physical, and all your stuff comes to the surface. And the EMF thing is such a big thing right now. And it's only going to get worse, I guess. I mean, if, if I, I, you know, whatever I say that's negative, I usually have a remediation for, um, and all these things we just talked about. But if we go just for a second, like hurricanes, tornadoes, like earthquakes, like we have had more and more and more every time they put a cell phone tower in. The earth is supposed to be stable and all of these things are like making the actual planet unstable. So I hope and believe that at some point in the near future, we'll go backwards and we'll all be like, I'm sick of social media. I'm done, you know, we're not having that anymore. We're having no government and no more crazy chaotic energy or, or the phone companies that do the cell phone towers will remediate them. I have gone out and remediated about nine towers myself. And it's like the easiest thing ever. I put a bunch of rocks and dirt with high energy under the tower or near it. And while you're standing there, it just starts to feel so good. Like it just feels better and better and better. So that's all we have to do is just balance like anything else. It's a balance. It's a seesaw. So lots of bad frequency, let's balance it out and make everything better. So that's my hope for the future. Anyway, I went on for a little bit there and we don't have a lot of time left. So I wanna make sure that I answer any other questions. You can keep going, Maria, if you have anything else related to that topic. Anybody else with any specific questions? Back to your ants, the ants and the Wi-Fi, cause I have tenants in, in apartments and the, 
I never had an ant problem, but now that you mention it, <laughs> when everybody started getting laptops and Wi-Fi, I've been having a lot of ant problems, especially at, at, at one place. Could that be it? Is that what you just that said? Is, yes, that is definitely it. And so what you can do is you can remove, you can put some of the EMF paint on the circuit breaker and on the meters, the smart meters are underneath it. And you can go around the outskirts of the house and lay down some of the high energy dirt or whether it's an apartment building or a house, you can lay it around the building and put rocks that just have high energy and it changes everything. It's a game changer. There's a client that lives in an apartment building on a corner and corners are the hardest because there's like a lot more chaotic energy with all the different streets. Um, she lives on the corner in Hollywood, this cute young Asian girl. And I don't know why I said that, no no reason, but she's just, and, and she's like, I just don't think I feel good in my house. And she picked up some of the dirt and rocks and she did what I said. And she's like, Julie, I am telling you, like my husband who came home and he doesn't believe in any energy. He's like, it feels so good in here tonight. What happened? Like they feel it. So we only focused, she wasn't gonna do her whole apartment building. She just did the corner of the building where her apartment is, you know? So yeah, yeah you all, all these young the younger tenants, you know, they I mean they have all the computers and they have tons, and especially during Wi Fi. I mean, they each had three, and it was all over the place. And then they had all these ants. Yeah, they never had yeah. before. It's a lot mm -hmm. more cost effective, and then it's like no chemicals, and so you can do. We can talk about that more specifically about like the shapes of the buildings and where they're at. But it's just like rocks and dirt, like high energy rocks and dirt. I just test and find the best ones. And or you can plug in a Wi-Fi if you really wanted to, like somewhere. You know, I don't know if they're apartment buildings, but or if they're individual homes, but what is something you can also use the paint. You could do the paint in all four corners of windows and doorways, and it will change the frequency. It kind of just like blocks things. So we did it in the office in the front room. We did it and then I had it painted so you don't even see because we painted over it. So it's there permanently. I just finished doing last do on someone's home. It's um, we started it like four years ago, the home, we did it while the home was under construction and we put some of the dock, the dirt and the rocks in the walls. And I did some paint, the EMF paint in a bunch of different places before they actually did the finishing work. And when I was there last week, doing the finishing touches outside and this project has been going on for so long the woman was stressed out beyond belief because it took two extra years and while i was there she's like i don't know what you're doing but like it feels so good in here right now for the first time in like three years thank you and that was just all i did was like was laying rocks around near her the heating stuff for her hot tub and around the outside where all her electrical stuff is like i just put these rocks and put a little bit of the EMF paint in random places and she felt better. So there's a, there's a lot of different ways to go about it, but super, super, super important for how you feel on a daily basis is your space around you. I love my spaceship. I feel <laughs> a big difference than that. Yeah. The first day, the first day it made me crazy. I was calling Lib, <laughs> And then after that, it was just like peace, peace in the valley. And yeah, and I was just going to say, that's like another great example. Thank you for bringing all your good stuff to the class tonight. Um, when I got all the toys. <laughs> you, yeah, you're getting there. We're building, we're building up your, mm -hmm. yeah, you have the, you have the ozone now too. We're building up mm -hmm. your tool chest. That's what we need to do. We need to have a healthy tool chest so we can fix our health problems ourselves because I haven't been to a medical doctor in 20 two years and I'm really, I mean, except for delivering my son and that was a lovely product of it, but like everything that could go wrong in the delivery of a child went wrong. And I was married at the time and he was unwilling for me to do a home birth. So I had everything that you didn't want to have. And so anyway, um, that's what happens when you get involved with a medical person, you get, he's like, I could just cut you open. He didn't say it that way, but he's like, I could deliver you a baby in like five minutes, but why are you putting yourself through all of this? And I'm like, I don't want that. And I held out as long as I can. And then the C-section has the scar of the C-section. It felt like my uterus was falling out of my body for a long time. I did mud therapy and cast, I did castor oil right away. 
laser. I've mud I've mudded my C-section scar probably no less than like nine times before it stopped giving me overall health problems. And that was also, like I said, 17 years ago. And then you're nursing for a year or two. So you're not mudding. And then you get to, then I, what I know now, I didn't know 15 years ago. Now I can, if you have a C-section, we'll fix it much quicker than that. But um, all of these things affect you. Um, and you wanna put a kibosh on any of them as soon as possible. And you wanna have tools to do it. As far as the Qui-Fi, the spaceship looking thing goes, um, I already told you my story. Um, I had already had my place Vastu and remediated and I've upped it because of the ants over the years. When I plugged it in, I everything came out, every, every, every possible area. And I was like, whoa. And then I had to take it slow and steady. Um, Diane plugged hers in and she's like, I feel like I'm crazy and I just want to like, I don't know if your words, you want to punch everyone or yell at them for like the first day. It's really why I, I think it was just really wired, you know, just really wired. Wired. And then or so like, I, can't, I can't remember. Yeah. Kind of like ADD. And then you acclimated when I, I sleep on an earthing mattress, which they don't make anymore. They still make the sheets. Um, but a client recently got a sheet and had the same experience. I'll tell you when I sat on the bed, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have this bed right now. I felt like I was sitting at the beach. It, like the second you sit on it, you're just like melt and happy, like all the good feelings you have at the beach. So I get the bed and I tossed and turned for three or four nights. And I was up like five times a night, like not well. And I was like, what is going on? But I was detoxing and acclimating and healing from it. And then everything settles down. But while you're in that detoxy acclimating phase, it's like the first hour, your liver is going haywire, then your kidney and then your intestine and all of those organs do their job. They rest and repair at different hours throughout the night. So first I woke up at, you know, lung hour and then I woke up at kidney hour and then I woke up at the liver hour and I was like popping stuff throughout the night and the next day and just trying to help my organs like give them the exact support each one of them needed. So it took about three days and then I was a hundred percent and I've had the mattress now for almost 10 years and I don't even like sitting on my couch because my mattress is so amazing, but they have earthing blankets and mattresses. And I think, I think it was Maria, you said that you got one too. So, you know, I don't make any money for those. I just love them and promote them. It's the same thing as like the patch I put on you when you're in the clinic. It just connects your body to the earth. And if you want to see what actually happens in the free downloads on my website, I think it's the second or third row down, there's a picture of someone's feet on the grass and pull up the chart. It shows you when they prick their blood and put it on a slide and look at it under a microscope before and after being on the earth for 15 minutes, it is completely different. Your cells are completely different. They are a million times healthier. They're in a better place to absorb vitamins, minerals, and nutrients. And then there's also an MRI picture and it's super red and like inflamed before and super blue and green and calm after. So the earth heals you. And when they close the beaches and they close all the bike paths or whatever and tell you it's dangerous, you should know you're smarter than them. That's not true at all. Those are the places that heal you. And so any connection to the earth, barefoot, no rubber sole under your feet. You can sit on a blanket, you can wear socks, but if you have a rubber sole or a super thick blanket, you're not going to get the same benefits, but be on the earth for 15 minutes a day and you will have a game changer for your health that will restore your biofield. It might take a little longer, maybe like an hour, the first couple of times, but that's why we all feel amazing all summer long because we're barefoot and we're outside and we're at the beach and we're at the park and we're touching the earth and in the sun all day long. So take that and make it a tool for yourselves and bring it into your world and your life. There's an earthing travel mat that I sometimes, I used to take it all the time when I travel. Um, now I have my laser and I always fall asleep with it. It's pretty easy, um, but you, I take the paint also and I remediate the telephone and the lamp near the bed and any outlets that are near the bed in the hotel room. And I always sleep so much better right after I do that. If I forget to do it on the first day, I know I'm going to fix it that night and have better sleep. I have clients that live in New York City and never, ever, ever touch the earth. 
And so they sleep with a patch on their body, like the earthing patch, or they get the sheet or the blanket um, because you can get five to 12 hours of healing if you, you know, however long you stay in bed by using that. So whatever it is that you take out of today's class, you know, we've talked about the EMF, we've talked about healing tools, we talked about ozone, we talked about the earth being the biggest healing tool, the little QCI crystal, the laser, which is in a bag underneath the um, laptop. I can just show you because I think one or two people on the call might have never seen it. Um, it's on the website. There's a whole EMF page and there's downloads at the bottom of it where I've done a pretty decent job to explain. So this laser is like not bigger than my forearm and it fits in my purse and I take it with me everywhere I go. It most lasers will destroy the biofield. You might get a benefit at first, like the little ones you chase your cats around with. And it's hard to see because it's so bright here, but this has red, infrared and violet light. And all you have to do is put it on your heart and instantly it's like, like right away, my body goes into melt mode. Still point is what we call it. You can put it on my liver. I don't really feel the same as I, as relaxed when I put it on my liver, as I did on my heart. Now, um, if I put it on my kidney, nothing, nothing, I put it on my adrenal. So wherever you put it on your body, it's working, but it's going to heal you more specifically where you need it, where you go, ah, I feel relaxed. So, um, I, so you have a lot of choices of healing tools. We didn't really talk that much about supplements today um, or food. I gave you some of my sample, my snacks that I eat. There's a free download, a couple of them, two free downloads with snack lists and chips and dips. There's so many things you could do, but food is like 1%. As much as we talked about the detox and eating perfect, food is 1% of how you feel. Fixing your organs and your glands and your biofield is everything and your cells. So put your attention where it's easiest for you for now. If it's really hard for you to, to eat a salad every day, then take some supplements or get on the earth. Like just find something, one thing of inspiration from something that we talked about today to help you for the next couple of weeks till the next call. Um, so if you use the code, I love myself, that will give you 15% off everything on the website. Um, so feel free to peruse, pick up anything that is of interest to you. We could ship it to you or you can come by and pick it up. But that is the code for today. And of course, we talked about the Simple Solutions Detox too. So ozone, snacks, earth, the LMP paint, the stickers for your devices, lasers. Um, I mean, I think we covered a lot of ground tonight. So that's all we have time for. I wanna be respectful of all of our times. So unless there's any last minute emergencies or questions, I will hope to see you guys next time. So the second Wednesday, the fourth Thursday of every month is gonna be this call from wherever we all are in the world and tell your friends, I'm happy to just answer questions and then go like we did today and just go into a little topic in a little more depth. But I have lots of information in the Limitless Health Club login for you and lots of free information on the website. So use it. I didn't do it just to waste my time. I want it there for you. Um, how do you get into Limitless? How do you get into that? We just said. You should have had to make a password and your email address to get in when you signed up for it. And that's what it is. And I, we were offering it free for a while. So, but I don't know if that, it's been like a process getting this going. Um, you, you're definitely, you've paid for your membership. So you should be able to get in. If you can't get in, will you just send me an email and we'll organize it tomorrow or by Monday so that you can get in there? Okay. But there is, you should be able to get into like a whole separate section and then these calls will be recorded and go on there within a few days after the call. Um, that way, if you miss the call, you could actually go listen or watch if you want. Okay, And thank it's like you. Netflix, you should be able to make a playlist of like videos or whatever you wanna read and stuff. And 
you know, I'm always open to suggestions. I might not be able to do them all yet, but this is all about helping more people um, on less of my time and less of your budget. So to answer questions and help people get healthier. And of course, I still see people one-on-one -on -one or groups or whatever anyone wants to do. I'm happy to just keep helping people get healthier. Okay. All right, guys, I'll make a note of that though, Diane B. Um, so enjoy your night and your weekend and I will see you in two weeks unless I see you before then. Have a healthy yeah. night, guys. Thanks for joining. Thank so you. Hey, Julie. Have a healthy night.